What's going on? Welcome on to another video. This video is going to be all about helping you figure out those numbers. Once again, another addition to the battle series. If you have not checked it out already, I already did a video on timing, transition, and swing path. I showed you the high version and the high ratings versus the low ratings and the benefits versus penalties. Essentially, also gave a recommendation of a sweet spot and where you're kind of aiming for to kind of help make this game a lot easier for you. It is a little bit of a challenge this year, so it's definitely something that you want to work towards and pay attention to. This video is gonna be all about lie range, so let's dive right into it. All I ask is that you guys like and subscribe, and then we can kick this video off. Let's get into it. So in order to do this video, I had to do a little bit of tweaking with my fittings and everything, but I'm gonna show you my pitching wedge in the light area and the heavy rough. So Right now you can see this pitching wedge will have a lie range of 72. And then once I go back, I will adjust my golfer and I will switch my archetype to the woodsman build because this gives me the highest lie range. And if you don't know what lie range essentially is, lie range is essentially going to help you get the higher percentages. So you'll see here that I will go back to my pitching wedge and I will equip this fitting, which will give me a 97. So I will do a 97 comparison versus a 72 comparison. And we're going to see exactly how drastic these differences are when it comes to your percentages. All right, so I'm on my custom created course now. And you can see here that I have two markers right here. One is in the light area and one is in the high area. And now I've maxed out the settings for all of them. So I have the highest light rough that you can possibly get in the highest heavy rough, the biggest essentially detriment, um, the penalty, the biggest penalty you possibly can get. So I'm going to test them both out right now and it's just gonna be a quick video. I'm just gonna show you guys here. So I'm here in the light rough, 90 to 94% with the pitching wedge. Now this is the 72 overall pitching wedge with the lie range. So you're really not getting that much of a penalty in the light rough. Now let's check out the high rough. So now I'm here in the heavy rough. This is the pitching wedge. This is the 72 overall pitching wedge. So I have a big difference here, 73% to 84%. Now what does this actually mean? This means if I'm gonna hit this pitching wedge, which is 143 yards, it's gonna only travel somewhere in that range, somewhere around like 107 to 115 yards, and you're gonna receive a massive penalty. So the only way you're gonna be able to adjust in this situation is if you had to club up to get the ball there. So 90 to 94% with the 72 overall lie range, not too much of a problem, but in the heavy rough, you see a massive difference in your percentages. Okay, so now I've swapped in. I have the 97 lie range. I am now in the exact same spot that I was in the light rough with the 72 overall lie range, and I am getting a 91% to 93% lie range. Now this is a lot, a little bit tighter, so it was 90 to 94% in the previous one. So we are pretty much in the same exact ballpark. It is a little bit tighter in the 2% compared to the 4% of what you're gonna essentially get, but really not that much of a difference. For a, from a 72 to a 97 in the light rough, you're really pretty much getting the exact same thing. So let's check out what the heavy rough's got for us. So now I'm here in the heavy rough, I have the pitching wedge, 97 overall, and this is the, the only difference that I'm getting, 76 to 85%. So it's showing me that in a lot of situations, you're really not getting that much of a benefit when it comes to your actual lie range. I mean, 2% really, you're a little bit tighter in your dispersion of the percentages, but when you get into these heavy roughs and these light roughs, you're really only getting 1% or 2% bonus for actual situations. So it's really, in my opinion, it's, it's really not worth really diving yourself too far into. You know, like 97% is great, but if I'm still going to be getting 76 to 85% in the heavy rough, it's really kind of a wasted stat. And that's something that you should definitely consider when you're making your build. It's not something that you really want to do to really penalize yourself is waste all of your attributes in the lie range category because you're really not getting that much of a benefit compared to a lower level club in the 70s. Now, if you're in the 60s, that's probably something that'll be a little bit more difficult to overcome. 
but I think a good sweet spot would be like 75 lie range. You're you're still going to be hitting out of the rough. You're you're still going to struggle a little bit, but this is it's not really that big of a deal in my personal opinion, and it's something that you guys should definitely consider. So I hope you guys like this video, and uh, I'll catch you guys out next time. Leave a comment down below and let me know how this helps you guys. Thank you.